So you've put in the work, you spent the last few years busting your ass, and you finally book a role. Now what? Today, I'm going to share with you how you take that role, no matter how small it is, co-star, no name, even background, and squeeze it to get everything you can out of it. Hey guys, my name is Hans Christopher. I am an actor, coach, and creator of the Working Actor series. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying this content. If you could, please like, subscribe, let me know what you think down below. And with that, let's dive in. And eventually, as long as you're putting in the work, and as long as you're doing your own process, and continuing to do that, you're going to get to a place where you book. It's going to happen. It's going to be awesome. And what this lesson is about is making sure you get the most out of your bookings. So what to do when you book. This lesson came to me, as always, because of what I didn't do. Too many times, especially early in my career, I would book a job. A big job, a big production, something that was really, really big. And I would get in my own head. Maybe it wasn't coming out for six years or six months, a year. And what would end up happening is I had all these plans for things I wanted to do. But then I would get to a place where I would be start getting afraid. What if my lines got cut? What if I didn't look good? What if I embarrassed myself? What if I told people about this role and it gets cut out completely? All things that have happened to people I know, things that have happened to me. Uh, I, luckily, I haven't been cut out completely, but I've had stuff changed drastically from what it originally was. That, for me, was debilitating. I didn't want to be put in a position where I was embarrassed, where I was embarrassed in front of my friends, my peers, people I knew. So these premieres, these things would be released, stuff would happen, and I would let it go by without doing anything without doing any fanfare, without letting people really know. Maybe I'd post it after if I did see that some stuff came out. Um, but it was very minimal and it wasn't... Now knowing what I know, I could have squeezed so much more out of each one of those bookings, no matter how small it is. And even if it's a background role, you can squeeze it and turn it into something much, much more that will help you along the route. So that's what today's lesson is. That was a little long, but I just kind of wanted to prep you for what we're going into. Uh, so, this is five things I would do when I book now, knowing what I know. The first thing I would do um, if I book, well, this is a little bit of a bonus that isn't in here. First thing I would do is I'd go back to my Instagram account and I would go back. I'd probably, I've already followed all the casting directors. Now I would probably just go and maybe comment on something, like something. I wouldn't hint at anything about the show, but I would just let them know They've been looking at your pictures. They were the ones who, who sent you through. They're now fans of you. And it's just a great way to just add a little bit of a touch where you like some stuff in the, of the people in the office. And many times, just by doing that, they'll see that heart. They'll see that comment and they'll be like, oh, that's the actor I just booked in this. Oh, damn. They'll click over to your account. Sometimes they'll follow you. Um, but what you want is you want them to take a little bit of a deeper dive. And if you've been working the things that we talked about, you've aligned your social media page to represent you and your superpowers and some of the things you're pushing, which is perfect. So that's kind of a, a bonus one to do. But the first thing I would do once I book um, is that, and then I would go to after I've shot this too, not after I book. So once I've shot, I would go and add my project to IMDb. Um, now, the, the reason I say it like this is I don't post that until it's after it's shot. The show has to be up on my IMDb already, so you can't create the new show yourself. So it has to be up for you to do this. But if it's up, you go and you post yourself to it, but you don't post yourself as the character you played. You post yourself as actor or actress. The reason you do this, and you're going to have to also submit a, uh, your call sheet to prove that you've done it because it's going to be before the show was released, the reason you do this is you can get attached to a project or make it look like you're attached to a project when you're, it says actor or actress. And when the show is released, the production will change it to the role that you were you booked. But in that period of time of the show being in production you know, or in post-production, ramping up to releases, to premieres, you will be attached. It'll look like you were attached to the project. So you'll be able to use that five, six, seven months a little bit as your own publicity. If you're going out for agent meetings, it's up there. And, and it doesn't really, no, nobody knows that you were a small role in it or no name role in it. 
you you get four, five, six months, or depending on how long the release is, to be able to showcase yourself in a way that it looks like you're attached to the project. It's a great little trick that I use to kind of just shift the narrative a little bit and, and shift to how people look, like look at you in new production. Uh, so that's the first thing I would do. Uh, the second thing that I would do, oh, and I would also say um, with IMDb, I also have an, it's called an EPK. I create my own electronic press kit for myself. I also add to an upcoming, to the upcoming projects, um, this new thing immediately. So I put it on my upcoming projects with a picture of the show or a picture of the movie or whatever it is with a little title that says what it is. Now this is only for going out to agents, going out, going to your um, your agent, your manager, or trying to get agents and managers. You're not putting this up on any kind of social media. You're not putting this anywhere else. This is only internal use for you to get more jobs and create some, some momentum for your reps to pitch you and use you. Um, so that's number one. Number two, when I shoot on the day of shooting uh, or the week I'm there, whatever it is, I start building relationships and I'm taking pictures when appropriate. Now, you do not walk around set taking pictures and doing all these things when you're on set, but you can feel it out. Sometimes there'll be moments when cast, you know, other people are taking pictures, when the director's actually taking pictures or doing something. You just have to feel it out. But even if not, you can take pictures in your trailer, take pictures of stuff. You're not going to post any of this to social media until the show is released. But what you want to do is just start compiling stuff to be able to release on the day of the, the premiere, on the day of the show. You want to have you want to do a photo dump at that time. That's what we'll get into in the next step. But you want to start building your connections now, your relationships now. And this is a great way and use your Instagram because you've already started to build that in a way that represents that to collect people's contacts, to like people um, get who are associated in the show and use it for that. And, at the, you know, at the worst case, if you don't see anybody, it's a very closed set and they're saying no no pictures or anything, which a lot of sets do. Sometimes they have you sign NDA, NDAs. You can take pictures, you know, like on Walking Dead in the trailer of me and my costume. Now, I'm not going to post anything until after the show comes out, <clears throat> but I do like to have some behind the scenes stuff that I can use to kind of go along with it. It's just going to help you promote um, and, and it's going to help you with your rollout. Uh, if you're not familiar with the rollout, a rollout is what you do if you have a publicist um, the few months before leading up to a show. Now, most of us aren't at a place where we can spend two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 to set up a, a rollout, which they're going to get you into premieres, they're going to get you on carpets, they're going to get you attached to press to do things. But in that meantime, we've got to look out and do as much as we can. And this is kind of a small way to start preparing for that stuff um, for when you do book. So, so that's what I do on set. I make sure I start building those relationships, building those connections, using Instagram as a way to pull all of those connections and allow people to kind of see what I'm up to. Uh, it's, it's worked out incredibly for me. I booked jobs because of that over the years, because of the relationships I built. And then somebody sees something I did. Um, I'll give you a perfect example. A recent movie I did, I had a teacher slash mentor that I, when I first started acting, um, it was actually my first acting of business uh, class I did, who later went on to start writing, wrote some of her own shows, did some of her own things. And uh, she saw that I booked Animal Kingdom and reached out to me. It was like, oh, my God, congratulations. That's amazing. I know of a project that I think you'd be perfect for. Could you send me over your materials? Um, and because of the relationships I I'd met, met and made along the way, I was able to send over my EPK and I got in for a, for a in person with the director, I got to put myself up and I was kind of already put at this level that showed me a much more value than just an actor with a headshot uh, and a resume through an email uh, because of this re relationship I've made and because of the, the kind of feel that I created on my Instagram. So it's just one way you can do that. Being on set on the day is a way to build those relationships. <clears throat> so um, number, I think that was number two. Number three, uh, prepping for your rollout, right? So this is the few months leading to when your show is premiered. What I do is I set Google alerts for the name of the show, for the directors, for the lead actors and actresses on the show, and I do Google alerts for um, anything that has to do with the show, trailers, um, 
press that has to do with it and I'll start I'll start posting it or reposting it on my <clears throat> on my page so it's like a hint I'll do I'll do like an emoji with a the monkey with his hands over his mouth or something like that so I'll hint to a show unless it's something that they have a lot of NDAs um, I'm not gonna do anything but for the most part a hinting of a show because they released a trailer is something I've always done it just starts to build up a little bit of excitement a little bit of like oh what's he up to did he book this you know um, that's kind of that's all I try to generate in the first two months think of yourself as you know if public publicists are doing rollouts and trying to get you into events um, what could you be doing to try and work that process too even if it's something as small as a co-star um, I've also at this point this is the rollout this is the point where I'm looking to see if there are any premieres um, in my city that I you know if I'm in LA they're probably doing some kind of a premiere here I'm gonna do my best to get in I'm gonna do my best to you know I'll reach out to casting with a nice email something very sweet and be like uh, is there any any way I could go to the premiere is there any way I could come and do this polite no problem it doesn't hurt to ask um, and I'll see I'll, I'll even reach out to you know publicists of the show sometimes sometimes you you get people who who go out of their way to do something nice and it doesn't hurt to ask in those situations I've gotten onto red carpets doing that for premieres and things that I went into so it's just a it's just a, a way you're thinking outside of the box to to kind of be attached to these projects now a lot of times actors look at this as like well I'm not big enough to do stuff like this the shows want as much publicity around the show as possible so any actor doing their work to try and up publicity for the show is good in their eyes as long as they're not revealing stuff as long as they're not giving things away and as long as they're not breaking NDAs or doing something that goes against that they want press about the show they want you to be doing whatever you can about the show um, another great thing you can do is is if you're from a smaller town you could go to press at your small town and and see if they'd be interested in doing anything you know now one of the things with AI you can have your own articles written up about you some kind of an angle of a story and see if you want to pitch it to anyone at your local newspapers <clears throat> anyone at home it's a great idea to try and get some press out of stuff um, and just you know local local especially small towns want to hear about the actor's story uh, so that's just so, some of the things I think about for three for prepping for my rollout um, then I also will now I do I was terrible about this before but I was set my own kind of premiere with some friends family um, it's something small, fun, even if it's a small role, I, I, I don't I let it be known. It's not much, but it's it's more about the showcasing it on social and just letting know people, you know, you're doing a thing for it. Um, and then so that's number three. Number four, the premiere comes out, the show is released, the stuff comes out. And uh, this is, I think, the most important time you can do for your publicity, especially for these smaller roles. This is the time that you use every one of those dump pictures you had and you dump them in one big thing and then you attach and you at as many people as you can in production that you met. You know, other actors, co-stars, people in production, hair and makeup if you want to. This is where you, you're you attaching them but you're actually truly thanking them. Thanking the people who were proud of the process. Thank you for having so much fun. Thank you for learning. Uh, and then a, another huge component that this gives you an opportunity is you thank casting. This is a great, great opportunity for you to thank casting for them booking you and for them help contributing to such a fun experience, um, such a fun show, whatever you want to do. But it's what this is is an opportunity for you to post all those pictures, showcase that you're working, let everyone know what you're up to, and thank everyone that was a part of the project. And what you'll end up finding happening is most actors like me before are either in their head about stuff or they're too lazy to put this all together and so they'll just end up reposting what you did because you've attached them to it and then you're just going to get a ton more eye a, a lot more eyeballs on you and people who may turn your direction and go to your page and look at what you're up to and look at what you've created and so it's just a great way to kind of and what they'll do is they'll repost and then you repost stuff that they've done and you just kind of want to create and generate a little bit of excitement around this um, the day of the premiere so then <clears throat> the final thing that I do with this is probably what you guys all expect you pull footage anything you can from the project that you think you might be able to use 
even if you can't use, you don't think you're going to use it in your reel, you still want to pull it to have it. Sometimes you can create a sizzle reel with it. Sometimes you can use something that makes you look a certain way. So I'll pull footage, <clears throat> but then I will also pull as many stills from those projects as possible. The stills, what I found, are a great way to use some of these smaller roles where you might not have a lot of lines. Maybe you have no lines, but maybe you're in a shot with Angela Bassett. Maybe you're in a shot with Michael Shannon, right? <clears throat> that just showcases you and elevates you just from this quick screenshot. Well, that is a great place to use it in your EPK. You know, you use it as a, up, uh, as a upcoming project or a, a, once you wrapped it, um, finished projects or whatever you want to title you, that section of it. And you have that picture representing you, me and Michael Shannon in Waco uh, that, was, that was released. <clears throat> Release projects is what, I, what I've titled it. So it's just a great way. What you're generating in that is a snapshot. If somebody doesn't want to watch a reel, which so many people are just quick, quick, quick now, if they open it up and see a picture of you working with a few different big players, they're instantly like, oh, okay, well, I see the worlds that they're in. <clears throat> let's call them in. Let's bring them. Let's see what they can do. Um, so as you, get, as you start getting these co-stars, as you get your first booking, you want to think about it in this way. Oh, I can use this little still um, in my EPK. Another way, another place you're going to use these stills is you're going to take them and you're going to immediately put them on your IMDb pictures. You're going to attach whatever person you're in the picture with, if it's an actor or a big actor, and then you're going to name and title the project what it is. The reason why you do this is in Google search rankings with your name, <clears throat> those are going to get pushed up higher and you're able to start setting the theme and the feel if production or casting decides to type in your name. They decide to type in your name and look you up. Well, there's a picture of you with somebody, a big actor or actress. And so you're generating this snapshot that makes them be like, oh, am I supposed to know this person? So they're just a little more intrigued, a little more interested. Maybe they'll go to your Instagram. Maybe they'll go to your IMDb. Maybe they'll hit up your rep. That's what you're trying to build here. That's what you're trying to do. Um, so that's just a quick <clears throat> run through. Um, a quick run through of what I do, my rollout that I do for projects or things that I've booked recently. This again came from me not doing anything or doing the bare minimum before and realizing that there is so much more we could be doing to maximize this and turn it into other, other um, opportunities. Because the goal here is to create momentum. You want people, producers, casting to look at you as if you're generating momentum. And right now, and frankly, most actors don't have the money to spend three, four, five thousand on on a publicist. Uh, and most publicists wouldn't take you on to for small roles anyways like this. So you are in charge of generating that buzz, creating this feeling of, of movement. And this is just one way that you can do that. And you can do it with small co-star roles. Um, so... I hope that helped, guys. Uh, these are just some things. As, as with everything, this isn't the only way to do it. This is just hopefully to get you to start thinking in another way uh, of what you can do when you do book a co-star, when you do book at that guest star, that recurring, of how to maximize that and how to turn that into momentum uh, to get other people to look at you. So hope that helped. Let's open it up to questions. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please let me know what you thought down below. Like, subscribe, comment. I would love to hear what you think. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but thank you. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time.